there, my name is Brittany Bryden. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Today's class is a quick power flow, which will be really core focused. You don't need any props for this practice. You just need your mat and you're good to go. So let's get started. We're gonna turn to face the front of the mat. Turn your fingers forwards, shoulders over top of the wrist, knees hip distance apart. And let's just move through a couple cat cows. So you're gonna lift the chest through the gate of the shoulders, send the tailbone up, and then round and push away from the floor. Again, lift the chest forward, send the tailbone up, and round, push away. And then one more time, chest comes forward, tailbone up, and then round and push away. Now come into your neutral spine, and we're gonna make our way into puppy. So you're gonna send your hips back, walk your hands forwards until you bring your forehead down to the floor. Now you can stay here, or you're gonna bring your elbows to the ground. Hands are gonna come together in prayer, send your fingers up towards the ceiling. From there, you're gonna walk your elbows forwards about an inch. And then I want you to envision like you're trying to get your armpits to touch the ground. Find that nice opening through the triceps, the chest, the shoulders. And then bring your hands down onto the ground. You're gonna interlace the hands, press the palm of the hands together, forearms press into the floor. You're gonna bring your shoulders forwards, tuck your toes under, lift the hips up and back. So you're gonna bend your knees as much as you need to find a nice long spine here. So keep sending the hips up towards the ceiling. And then you're gonna lower the knees down to the floor. Hands stay interlaced. Just shift the hips back like you're doing a child's pose. Now bring your shoulders forwards. Tuck your toes under. Lift the hips up and back, come into dolphin. And then lower the knees down to the ground and then shift the hips back. So you're gonna float between the two postures on your own. When you come to that dolphin, make sure there's some space between the shoulders and the ears. Finding that extra rotation. Now, next time you come into dolphin, we're gonna stay there. So take a few breaths here, relax around the ears, the jaw, the neck. And then you're gonna walk your feet back, coming into a forearm plank. So from here, you're gonna ground your, ground your hands. And then I want you to protract through your shoulder blades. So you're gonna to start to spread the shoulder blades apart. Curl under with the pelvis like you're pulling your frontal hip bones towards your low ribs. Engage the inner thighs and the glutes. Crown of the head reaching forwards. And then one more thing here, I want you to feel like you're pulling your elbows to your feet. So take a few more breaths. And then lower your knees to the ground, press the tops of the feet on the floor. Sphinx, just lift the chest forwards and up. And you're gonna lower down, place your hands on the floor, framing your lower rib cage. So you're gonna hug the elbows in towards the midline, tuck your toes under, and then press yourself up, come into table. And then you're gonna lower yourself right back down. So bend the elbows, lower all the way back down to the floor. And then from here, take your hands off the ground. So you're gonna hover your hands, hug the elbows into the midline, set the hands back down, keep squeezing the elbows in, and then press yourself back up to that leaning table and then lower back down to the floor. Hover the hands, squeeze the elbows in, set the hands down, press yourself back up. And let's do one more, lower down to the floor, hover the hands, elbows hug in, set the hands down, press yourself up, and then come into downward dog. So lift the hips up and back. So as you come into your first downward dog, play around with it. So that might mean walking the legs, Maybe you want to try making your downward dog shorter today or longer. So you're going to lift your heels up, bend your knees, look forwards, and then walk your feet coming to the top of the mat. So your feet are about hip distance apart. Keep your knees bent and slowly roll yourself up to stand. So as you come to stand, you're going to take a big step back with your right leg. So you're coming into a lunge. Now the left knee is tracking over top of the heel. You're gonna bend your back knee, send the tailbone down and keep your rib cage tracking over top of the pelvis. So you can take your arms wherever you'd like. You can place your hands on the hips. You can keep the arms out in front of you. We're gonna bend that right knee a little bit more until you tap that knee to the floor and then come back up. So again, you're gonna lower down, tap, come back up, lower down and come back up. We'll do two more, lower down for two. Last one. Now you're gonna come into a runner's lunge. So you're gonna straighten that back leg as you lean the chest forwards. 
So make sure you're not hanging out in that front hip. There should be some space there. Now feel like you're dragging the feet in towards one another and you're gonna reach your arms back. So now we're gonna come into that lunge, tap the knee down and then come back in the runner's lunge. So you're gonna bend that back knee, lower, reach your arms up, and then come back into that runner's lunge, straighten the legs, sweep your arms back. Bend your back knee, bring both arms up, and then runner's lunge. One more time, bend the back knee, arms sweep up, and then come into runner's lunge. Easy twist, your right hand's gonna come to the ground, reach that left arm up towards the ceiling, open the chest to the left, and then set your left hand down, bend that back knee, step forward, come to the top of the mat. So feet about hip distance apart. Bend the knees, lower the hips down, just bring your hands together in prayer, finding your way in the chair. So really root down through the heels, lower the hips down a bit more, and do little tiny pulses here. So lift an inch and then lower an inch. Lift an inch, lower an inch. A few more. Keep the chest proud. So five, four, three, two. And then one, stay down and hold. And then come up to stand. Now you're going to step back with your left leg, finding that lunge. Right knee tracking over top of the right heel. Bend your back knee, send the tailbone down, ribs in. And allow lower, lower down for one. Come back up, down for two, back up, for three, a few more, four, and then one more for five. Runner's lunge, lean the chest forwards, put power in that back leg so you're on the ball of that left foot. Pull your feet in towards one another and sweep your arms back without letting your shoulders round in. So now bend that back knee, reach both arms up, hover the left knee or tap, and then come back in that runner's lunge. Two more, bend the back knee, both arms up. And then runner's lunge. One more time, bend the back knee, arms up. Runner's lunge, keep that power in that left leg. Take the left hand down to the ground, right arm up towards the ceiling, easy twist. Set the right hand down, bend that back knee, push off that back foot, step forward. Feet hip distance apart, bend the knees, lower the hips down, bring your hands together in prayer. So you're going to lift the hips up an inch and then lower down an inch. Keep pulsing. Five, four, three, two, and then come up to stand. Shake it out. Reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Hold forwards and towards your legs. Fingertips and shins lift up halfway lengthen. Set the hands down, step back, downward dog. Now keeping the hips back, you're going to come down onto your forearms like, and then you're going to interlace the hands, press the palm of the hands together. So from here, bend those knees as much as you need, send the hips up. You can also walk your feet closer to the elbows. Take your gaze forwards. You can stay there and hold, or you can do some chin taps. So you're going to lean your shoulders forwards, tap your chin to the hands, and then reset. Again, lean forwards, tap the chin to the hands, and then reset. Do a couple more. And then one more time. And then just like we did at the beginning, walk your feet back, come into that forearm plank. So ground the hands, protract through the shoulder blades, try not to hike the hips up towards the ceiling. Do the opposite, curl under with the pelvis. Don't hold your breath, use it. Drag your elbows to your feet. And then lower your knees, top of the feet press on the floor, baby cobra, or sorry, sphinx. <laughs> Chest forwards and up, and then lower down. Now you're gonna flip over onto your backs. And as you come down onto your backs, bend your knees, set the feet down on the mat about hip distance apart, and then flex your feet. So the heels are rooted into the floor. Curl under with the pelvis, fire up the glutes, keep that engagement, now lift the hips up towards the ceiling. So keep that tuck under with the pelvis and then lower the hips down to a hover and then lift the hips back up. Do a couple more of these glute bridge lifts on your own and try to keep your feet flexed. One more. 
and then when you lower, I want you to walk your feet forwards about an inch or two, keeping your feet flexed. Press the heels into the ground, curl under with the pelvis, fire up the glutes, and then continue with your glute bridge lift. One more. And then when you lower, walk your heels forwards about another inch or two. And we're gonna do one more round, continue with those lifts. Last one. And then lower down. Well done. Take your feet off the ground. Bring your shins parallel towards the ceiling. Knees track over top of the hips. And I want you to envision like you're pressing the low back into the ground. So you're pulling those frontal hip bones in towards your lower rib cage. And then reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Palm of the hands face one another. Now you're going to lower your left heel down to a hover. You can keep that left knee bent or you can straighten the leg. And reach your right arm back and hover your right thumb. And then you're going to pull yourself back to where you started. So your right leg's going to go forward, the left arm back as you take that inhale. And then your exhale is going to help you come back to center. So you're going to continue with your dead bug. Take your time with it. Notice if you start to flare out with the ribs. If you do, don't open up so much. more rounds. And then hug your knees inwards your chest. Set your feet down on the mat. Let your knees just rock side to side. And then hug the knees back in. So one more time, lift your chest towards your thighs and then let it go. So take the legs nice and long, bring the arms down to the ground. And before you leave your mat today, I encourage you to take a couple minutes in stillness to tune inwards. Connect to your breath and create space between now and the rest of the day. Thank you so much for practicing with me and I hope to see you again real soon. Always be humble and be kind. Thank you. Namaste.